Lessons and Carols is our annual Christmas program celebrating the birth of Jesus. It also continues a tradition started by Sister Cecilia Huber, who is now in her eternal resting place. That program was Sister Cecilia's annual Christmas concert. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, this year's program is a virtual event in keeping with the recommendations of our public health officials to slow the spread of the infection. We hope you enjoy the program, and I want to thank all the participants for sharing their time and talents. We wish you a blessed Christmas, and please stay safe. Now we begin our program, Lessons and Carols. Let us pray. Loving God, we gather together to recall the mystery of your saving grace. Though sin leads us away from you, you never stop loving us. The prophets proclaimed the coming of a Messiah who would establish your kingdom of justice and peace. Your promise is fulfilled in the birth of Jesus Christ. Help us reflect through our readings, prayer, and song this wondrous gift of your love. Amen. Isaiah 11, 1 through 10. But a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide fairly for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with the child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall graze together, though their young shall lie down. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the viper's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. They shall not harm or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the peoples. Him the nations will seek out, his dwellings shall be glorious. Lord, we wait for the day of your peace. May we help to bring this peace in our families, our communities, and our world. Amen. Peace, his dominion, 
as vast and forever peaceful upon David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever, and the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do that. No, we'll do this. God, you are always with us. May we always trust in your presence and share it with those around us. Amen. Joseph and Mary to trust in you. May we come to share in their trust and always rely on you. Amen.
Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his hometown. And Joseph too went up to Galilee from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem. Because he is out of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn, firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there is no room for them in the end. Now there were shepherds in the regions, living in the fields, keeping watch over flocks by night. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were sore afraid. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has born for you, who is the Messiah of the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and the earth peace to whose on whom his favor rests. When the angel went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in the haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they have heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. Lord, you came to us in humility and vulnerability. May we always show loving care to those around us, especially those in most need. Amen. Lord, you are the giver of all good gifts. May we always remember to share our gifts with others. For the glory of your name, amen.
chapter of John, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and without him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did not accept him, he gave power to become children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, not by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but by God. And the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory, the glory as the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. God of power and might, you are beyond all time and space. May we never fail to recognize your majesty and give praise to you in all we do. Amen. against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Merciful and loving God, we rejoice in your promises and in your boundless goodness that renews all of creation. May your coming among us this Christmas season fill every desire in our hearts that we may know your peace beyond all understanding. Grant this through him whose coming is certain, whose day draws near, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.